a lot of it been used for um, gravel pits and brick pits, but um, they persuaded the church to sell it. But interestingly, the, the best way at the time to make sure that it stayed public land was to actually make it crown land. So this is, I think, probably still owned by the Queen. And in fact, this housing, we can just see the end of. There's a strip of housing down this side of the park, which is still Crown Estate housing. Um, so it's predominantly uh, rented to people on lower rents and, you know, some, like social housing, but bizarrely, the Queen is their landlord. Um, and which is kind of interesting because I, I don't know very much about that, but obviously there wasn't the legal mechanism to set up a public trust or anything like that at the time so it was the best way just to make it keep it safe in the public area which it has done it's a huge park and i think probably if it had been no owned by local authorities they would have chopped off bits for housing and i like this park because it's divided into lots and lots of it's a, it's a well-maintained park it's got lots and lots of different zones in it so for me the main problem is that once once they start building on it then we start losing the argument for keeping